With the holidays now over, our local attractions are beginning to slow down and look toward the future. Yeah, we showed you last week some of the big crowds at some of our parks, but could all of this show signs of an economic recovery? News 6's Carolina Cardona spoke with an industry expert about the impacts. The Central Florida hospitality industry seems to be bouncing back from the havoc the pandemic caused in 2020. What we have seen is basically what we expected based on our research back then in, in, in the, at the end of the summer. During the holiday season, attractions like Disney World and Universal theme parks hit their 35% capacity, a sign researchers say shows the industry is starting to recover. Particularly the theme parks uh, have been an important attraction to uh, Metro Orlando and Central Florida. So that is what we've seen. We have seen a surge in traffic at MCO. We have seen a surge in demand at, at hotels. Professor Robertico Crows, Associate Dean for Research at Rosen College of Hospitality Management, says theme parks attendance serve as a good barometer of what to expect for the future of Central Florida's tourism and economy. We expect a, a uptick, which means a surge based on pent up demand from the leisure travel. And, and that will go very, very quickly uh, as we move um, with more and more um, um, with the administration of the vaccine. But the same can't be said for the business industry. Professor Crow says there's still a long way to recovery and go back to how businesses operated prior to COVID-19. The pandemic has changed dramatically the way we do business, the way businesses communicate with each other and so on. What we will not see is that same speed of recovery in the business travel. That will take longer. It, will, it may be at the end of 2022 or early 2023. In a statement, Visit Florida said domestic visitation will recover prior to the return of international visitation. Travel is predicted to gain momentum starting the summer of 2021, assuming a successful rollout of the vaccine by end of the second quarter. For 2021, Orlando's hotel demand is forecasted to grow 55 percent, which will bring it to 67 percent of pre-pandemic level. In Orlando, Carolina Cardona getting results, News 6.